things I shouldn't know. All right, good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day for November 19th, TGIF. All right, let's uh, start with the SPY. No new Dark Pool levels. Um, however, oh, look at that. What just happened? <laughs> Do you guys see that? It literally just shot up to 471.50. Look at that. Mm -hmm. We all know what that means, right? Yep. And shot all the way down. That was really cool, right? As I was recording, too. All right. So, yeah, we didn't trade there. We did not trade there yesterday. So, that is, yep. Very unusual print that we just got. All right. So, today, the spy, we're going to be bullish above 471.06. And we're going to be bearish below 468.50 for the SPY. Let's head on over to the Russell. The IWM. We're going to be bullish today above 236. And look at that. It literally just shot right up there also. some Yeah, some computer went off at 8 o'clock. Yep. That looks like it was a late trade from yesterday. Um, and we're going to be bearish below 232, and we've gone below that for the Russell. The Russell is definitely the weakest index, always leading the market. Yeah, the Qs always remain strong. They're the last to fall, by the way. Yeah, money flow flew into there, into that index yesterday. Um, hope you guys caught that Apple trade. Apple was a phenomenal trade off those unusual prints that I posted out yesterday on the app and in the trading rooms. So today, the Qs... Uh, we're going to be bullish above 404 and bear below 400 for a retracement trade. We did get a new level in yesterday, 397.49. All right, and we are well above that. Let's head on over to E minis. E minis, bullish above 4702.50 and bear below 4684. And it looks like we might be headed there. We'll see. The NASDAQ futures, bullish above 16.575. It looks like we're headed there. And bear below 16.500 for the NASDAQ. All right, oil is not having a good morning today. Yeah, we've had lots of dark pool activity on it. We closed below a lot of big prints this week. So not a surprise that we are pulling back here. We're uh, testing the S2 level. See, and we're bouncing here. A uh, little bit. Let's see the volume that came in. Yeah, a little bit higher. Some some volume right now on this five-minute candle. We're going to be bullish above 80. I went all the way up here because when I was mapping out the trade, yeah, it was definitely higher. Uh, bear below 75, 80. We've already gone down and hit um, a couple of targets. See that S2 is my target. So if we do go below S2, then I can see a lower move. But that high probability trade already happened. Let's go to the gold futures. Check out what's happening there. All right. Kind of uh, dancing on the pivot today. Yeah, up and down. Uh, bullish above 1867.50. Yep, if we do go higher than this area. It looks like they've been selling earlier in this area. Uh, bear below 1853. And then last but not least is the Bitcoin futures all right not having a good morning down two percent today we're going to be bullish above 57,500 and bear below 56,000 all right we're in between those levels now all right let's start with the individual stocks xle it looks like that lottery ticket trade i put on yesterday is going to work out uh, we are coming down uh, to that 50 simple moving average. Yep, this is a big target. 55 is a big level. It should bounce when we get there. If it doesn't hold that, right, that will be bearish. We looked at this yesterday in our afternoon meetings, a distribution pattern. We fell below the ice and then we retested it at the end of the day, which is why I put on a little lottery ticket, uh, bought some puts. Looks like they are doing well. Did you guys buy those? Hopefully some of you caught. They were $0.13 cents yesterday. So anyway, today if you missed the move, 
Uh, Bear below 55.50. Paul just uh, Paul just shorted this in the Java pit right now. Good job, Paul. Uh, bullish above 56.25 for a retracement trade. So we'll see if we don't hold this 50. Look down below. We'll be coming all the way down here. We did have a lot of dark pool activity. Here are just some of those prints that I posted for you that are in this distributional pattern. All right, let's head on over to Apple. Apple, today we're going to be bullish above 158.50, and we're going to be bearish below 156 for a retracement trade. You know, down to the 4 EMA, it's a very popular pattern, right? Every time we've gone far above, we went back down, right? So a lot of times just kind of does that movement. So for day trading, these retracements are great. I wouldn't do it for swing trading. All right, NVIDIA is up next. We had some great trades on this yesterday in the Java pit. Let's see, today, bullish above 325.50. Bear below 317.50 for a retracement trade. Is it going to go and fill the gap in, or is it going to push higher? Let's uh, head on over to Tilray. Has volume this morning, a lot of volume. Does have a short sale restriction, but you can see interactive, which is what my DOS Trader Pro is tied with, is letting you short it for 950,000 shares. Yeah, interactive is really good. They always have shares available. Bullish above 12 and bear below 11. All right, for Tilray. American Airlines had a very large print. Actually, it's had a lot in the past couple months, but uh, we had this 2.1 million at 1944. Bear, this is more of a swing trade. Big prints, you know, make big splashes. Kind of looking at the big picture here, right? We're in a sideways consolidation. If we don't hold this, you know, if we go below this 1850, look out below. Yeah, then this looks like a bear, kind of almost a bear flag, right? Kind of have this downward, except the bear flag usually makes higher highs like this. But it has kind of that same visual. Either way, we had big prints. If we do close below that, I could see a move all the way down to 16 if they're selling. If they're buying, we should move up above 20. And at least it's a good trade to the top of this channel once again. If we ever break above that, then we have a much bigger trade. So I like to be prepared on both sides. And, you know, just know it's going to have a little bit of a splash. All right, so I wanted to show that trade to you guys. Let's go to Bank of America. We've been below prints for a while now. Uh, these are old trend lines. We just removed those. Okay, we have uh, bullish above 46.50. Again, this looks like a distribution pattern. Same thing with a lot of dark pool activity. We just broke below the ice. Um, so... Bear below 45.50, we just went below, and there's that 50 simple moving average. There's going to be computers loaded to buy there, so that is going to be our uh, our target, last target. See, I put 50 SMA right there. That's what that means, and we're headed there now. All right, let's go to LCID. This one's been hot on the whisper list a lot, so it's in an interesting spot. Um, if it can break above this 4 EMA, I'm bullish above 49. And then if it breaks below 45, I, yeah, I like this trade down to here. We've already tested the 15 EMA yesterday. Less buyers there if we go there again, and we'll most likely come down to these orange moving averages, the 20 EMA and the 20 SMA. All right, that's what that means on the targets. Computers will be programmed to buy there. Let's go to plug. All right, what's going on with plug? Lots of volume this morning, which is what caught my interest. Bullish above 42.50 and uh, bear below $40.50 for plug. Okay, Macy's super hot yesterday. Lots of volume today. And yeah, I like the trade setups on this one. Bullish above 37 and bear below 36 for a retracement trade, right? So below 36, that's where this peanut butter is on a five-minute chart. There's room to go down. 
Okay, and there's room to go down on the daily chart to the 4 EMA. See how I put retrace to the 4 EMA. All right, there you have a little bit of education today with the whisper of the day. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Until next time, happy trading, everybody. My secret